Well, Wisconsin lawmakers are expected to vote tonight on a $3 billion incentive package to bring Foxconn to southeast Wisconsin. Yes, Ben Jordan has been at the state house all day as the assembly continues to debate. Ben, are we any closer to a, de a vote at this hour? George and Shannon, after a long day of debate, debating lawmakers tell me they plan to cast their votes by 7 o'clock tonight. Republicans say they are ready to go. Democrats, on the other hand, believe this is all coming too soon. Plenty of empty seats and looks of frustration fill the Wisconsin Assembly Chamber as dozens of lawmakers take their turn debating the Foxconn bill. Speaker Robin Voss says this could be a momentous day. August 17th, 2017. That'll be the day that you look back and say, I was part of something bigger than what I understood. Voss likening the Foxconn proposal to a field of dreams along I-94 between Milwaukee and Chicago. He says this is a once in a generation opportunity for the state that could have a ripple effect on southeastern Wisconsin. Imagine the new businesses that will open. Imagine the new restaurants, the new careers that are gonna be built. After Voss came plenty of backlash from assembly Democrats. The Foxconn announcement of a 13 billion dollar massive display panel factory came three weeks ago. Democrat Gordon Hintz says that isn't nearly enough time for due diligence. Usually if you rush things, FYI, it means it's because the deal stinks. The Foxconn $3 billion incentives package would be funded by taxpayers. We are facing 25 years at a minimum. One by one, Democrats express concerns over the ability to break even, loosening environmental regulations and the number of jobs this massive display factory will actually produce. Voss says those worries have already been addressed. Why isn't this bipartisan? And if this vote stays along party lines, as Speaker Voss predicts, the Democrats will not have the votes to stop this bill. Live at the State House, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. All right, we'll see how it all turns out. Thanks, you, Ben. Well, if the bill does pass tonight, it must also pass the Senate and be signed into law by Governor Scott Walker. That must happen, though, before the end of September.